Okay, that's a reading for Sagittarius or for whoever is watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. What messages you have today, Spirit? What is coming towards Sagittarius for this week? If I start getting more time, I think I'm going to start doing all signs instead of just Sagittarius. <laughs> you guys are probably like, screw that. <laughs> Just only us, though. I might just start doing, like, little shorts or something, you know, like those little minute videos. <clears throat> something like that. I don't know. I used to do all signs, but I got so busy, I just couldn't do it. And then the Sagittarius just kind of took over. <laughs> Makes sense. Because, um, you know, we're the planet of expansion. So anything a Sagittarius has touched uh, is going to expand. <laughs> so... Let's see. Out to the sea. Aw. So some of you guys are in your feelers, in your emotions. Um, it's like you guys don't know where you're headed. Like, you don't know what God's doing, so you're kind of upset. Because you see how you're, like, surrounded by all this water, which is emotions? And you got your head down, you're like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> Look at her. She looks so sad. She's like, this is some bullshit. Oh, <laughs> And her little wings aren't even out. She's not even flying. Like, why does that broad have wings anyway and she's in a boat? That don't make any sense. Like, if I had wings, I wouldn't be in a boat. <laughs> I'd be flying over the people's houses I don't like. No, I'm playing. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's probably why God didn't give me wings, though. <laughs> I would be a badass if I had wings, man. I could do some damage, though. <laughs> anyway, you guys are sad. You don't know where you're headed. So you got your head down, you're like, whatever, this is some bullshit, you know. Uh, but you don't see that there's like this thing that that little compass knows exactly where it's taking you. And so does that face in the sky. And that number seven is the number of the divine. And you see how that face is smiling? It's like, yeah, you're crying now, but just wait where I'm taking you. Like, you won't be crying for long. <laughs> so just know that if that's you and you're feeling kind of down and out, uh, God knows where he's taking you. Don't worry. Ooh, yeah, you removed an asshole from your life, didn't you? Don't be sad. <laughs> you was dealing with somebody who was wearing a mask. Uh, this talks about all that glitters isn't gold. So you was dealing with somebody who was wearing a mask. And I see that you successfully left them. Hell, this might not even be you that's crying, is it? This could be the person that was wearing a mask that you got rid of. Because you've seen through their bullshit. Like, you've seen this person was playing mind games. You've seen this person was wasting your time, your precious life source energy, wasn't giving back to you probably, and wasn't probably going to marry you or commit to either. Am I right? <laughs> was you playing with a player? Like, because I, I kept picking up in your readings, there's individuals who thought they were playing you. Like, they didn't know you were an earth angel. They didn't know... That you were sent into their life to help them, not hurt them. But they took you for granted. So this may be them crying. They could be the ones off in that boat crying and shit. Yeah, you got rid of somebody who was wearing a mask. Uh, you knew, like, <laughs> you knew what time it was with this individual. Yeah, oh, yeah, time for nap, will heart re reverse. So you knew that the, this person slept on your worth, too. Like, that's what I'm seeing. You were very loyal. You were down for them. You would have done anything in the world for this person. When this comes out, these are writers. These these people stay together for life. These, these people don't play. But since it's in the reverse with the nap card, that lets me know that they slept on your loyalty. They slept on your devotion. They didn't... They didn't give you the ride or die. They were just there for a good time, not a long time. And they were wearing a mask. They were trying to convince you of some bullshit and you've seen it. And I think you got rid of them. So uh, they slept on you. Uh, I could easily say y'all need to go take a nap. No, this is they slept on you. They slept on your worth. Like they had a loyal person and they slept on it. Yeah. And so guess where you're headed? <laughs> So, you know what? This is why God took this person. Oh, look at these cards down here. God is good. So, you're headed to this land of milk and honey. You know, it reminds me of Moses. He went around that damn mountain for like, what, 40 years? Just around and around 
and around. And I think the person you were dealing with was also taking you around and around and around like a karmic cycle and you ended it. So since you made the right choice to end this person, your ass is headed to the land of milk and honey. Nothing but prosperity, love, peace, joy. I mean, think about it. The land of milk and honey, like that explains it. Like everything you've been dreaming for, desiring, you're going to get it. Um, you're going to get your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten of Cups, your long-term stability. Um, whatever it is you're desiring, you're going to get it. And I also see the blockages have been removed. The elephants there, which the elephant to me is always ancestors. They come in and they remove obstacles and blockages. So you making the choice to end this person so they couldn't keep taking you around that damn mountain has led you to the land of milk and honey. You finally learned the lesson. You've learned the lesson of if these people want to sleep on you, then you have to end them. Because you don't have time. Life is short. Life is fleeting. You Tomorrow is not promised. And you got people out here playing games with you, Sagittarius. And I think you made the choice. The lesson was to make the choice to know that you deserve better. You guys always come up as the Empress energy, whether you're male or female. Empress energies don't chase people. They know their worth. They know what they bring to the table. Hell, they are the table. This person slept on you, slept on your loyalty, took you for granted, and you got rid of them. Good for you. And you could be wondering, like, hmm, you know, like, you could be out here kind of wondering, like, why the hell did this happen? Because that book represents your, your the life, your book of life, your soul contracts, okay? You actually made your own contract before reincarnating here, but we won't get into that. That's another story. But so you could be in the, in the process of wondering, like, why? Like, why did this have to happen? Well, I'll tell you why. Because you knew they weren't for you. Okay, this person was not for you. They were also playing mind games. You see that chess board? I feel like this person probably didn't even know how to play chess, but they sure know how to play some fucking mind games, didn't they? And then look, God removed them out of your life because look where you're headed. To Treasure Island. Okay? <laughs> so, like, if you're wondering why this shit had to go down... Just know so that you could be taken to the land of milk and honey into a true treasure. This talks about finding love that actually is a treasure. And also finding finances and shit like that. So you got it going on. Oh my god, look at that yang energy. You took action and broke camp, didn't you? Yeah, you took a leap of faith. You also have a divine masculine coming in here too. So this is like male energy. Um, whether you're male or female, there is going to be a brand new beginning for you. You're creating new. Um, you've probably been, if you've been seeing the number 111 or the 1111, that's a reset code for you. And then we have the in-between worlds. So you are successfully jumping timelines, going into something new, and it was action that you took. So if you purchased my jumping timelines video, you successfully have jumped a timeline you probably don't even realize it because it's you'll start noticing because you'll start noticing things are a little bit different around you like you may notice the time seems different stuff like that then we have come to the edge so you're taking a leap of faith and there's another oracle card that i had the other day talking about the initiation and how they have you like at this cliff and they're giving you like a few days or a few mo moments to gather yourself before they push your ass off that cliff. Okay. <laughs> now, they're not going to off you, but you are moving into something new. And then look, this is what you're moving into. Serendipity and blessed. So you're going to find something you did not expect to find. Something amazing. Okay. And I'm seeing here that those of you who are watching have a very good karmic imprint because we're in that eight energy because the 2024 breaks down to an eight. Um, so yeah, you got a lot of good coming. And then look at this. You're going to start getting more messages from your spirit guides who want to co-create with you. So make sure that you're talking to God, your ancestors, um, asking them to co-create with you because they're going to start giving you messages and you're also going to be getting some type of good news about like work, finances, and then you're moving into a new life. Oh my goodness. Look at this. We have the, so we have the yin and the yang energy. So you are meeting the divine mask and you guys are going to come together with somebody who's your true counterpart. 
And then we have building blocks. So you're going to build something like, you know, I always tell people I'm building an empire. <laughs> they may think I'm just crazy or whatever, but no, I'm really working on building something in this life. And I feel like there could be karmics who tried to come and destroy you from doing that. So make sure that you're building on your, your goals and your work and you're not just focused completely like on love, like focus on other things too. But I see that you have a divine counterpart coming in. We have the yin and the yang energy with the building box. Yeah, that storm that you went through is now over because there was a change in the wind that had to happen to get you to where you're headed. And I feel like you're coming out of that like change energy of the, well, out of this storm energy anyway. So that's really good for the oracles. You made the right choice. So what else is coming towards Sagittarius uh, this week? What else is coming towards Sagittarius or whoever's watching? I'm hearing that song. I think it's by Bruno Mars, isn't it? It's like, I've got sunshine in my pocket, that song. <laughs> so I feel like you guys are really happy. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Lord. Here we go. Some, it's like has to start off with some fuckery right away. There's somebody coming back, Sagittarius. Oh, it's the player. It's the person who didn't want to marry you, didn't want to commit to you. They feel left out in the cold. Um, this person's returning. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They feel like they have unfinished business with you. This person's still lying, though. Still wearing a mask and shit. Aquarius energy. Hmm. They also could be a fixed sign. I don't really know all the fixed signs, so I'll just say fixed sign. <laughs> I think it's Leo, Taurus, and some other shit. I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to Google it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you got somebody coming. I feel like they have unfinished business with you. I also feel like somebody was trying to steal your damn destiny here. Ah, look. I put this back in and it came out. Like when, it, when I shuffled, it flew out. Yeah, somebody is feeling left out in the cold. Um, they feel like you snuck off on their ass. So here they come. I'm getting like a weird taste in my mouth, and I've never had this before during a reading, not even private readings. It's like a metallic weird ass taste. Like so, <clears throat> it's like this person could have left a bad taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You're trying to move away from this bullshit. Like you just want to go to peace, you know. This person could also want to make peace to, with you. Yeah. You felt stuck. Like somebody wants to keep you stuck with them. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Hanged Man. So somebody wants to keep you stuck to them. But I feel like you're wanting to drop this burden. Yeah, this person, whoever they are, they're going to try to come in uh, and romance you. Be very charming. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there could be a water sign coming in. Oh, Lord, here we go. Yeah. I think it's the same person. I This person does have love for you. Either that or they're going to try to emotionally manipulate you and charm you. <laughs> like... But don't be fooled by this bullshit because they're actually the King of Swords, which is like a narcissist. Every time I see the King of Swords in reverse, it reminds me of a narcissist. So this person could be trying to come back in and use emotions to manipulate you. Uh, so they could come off as very charming. This could make sense why they're warning you about the mask card in the oracles. So you could be dealing with somebody who's actually the King of Swords, which is a narcissist. But they're going to come in as the King of Cups, Knight of Cups. Very loving, kind, charming. Ooh, Sagittarius, I love you. <laughs> oh yeah and you know what look at this shit you guys are headed for success in your destiny okay and i feel like this person wants to stop that like this person is trying to stop you from becoming successful like because i see with the wheel of fortune in reverse somebody's trying to uh, stop your destiny yeah <laughs> look at this shit this person oh so this is oh my god so this person's returning. If you got rid of this person, they are not gone. 
but are still in your energy. Now, as what's coming toward you, a lot of times Tarot will just pick up on somebody's thoughts of you. They may not actually take these actions, but it kind of looks like they are. This person is going to try to promise you some bullshit and not stand by it. This is somebody who tries to charm you and make you believe some bullshit. And they don't have plans on giving you this Ten of Pentacles, which is marriage and stability in a family. Hmm. They could also try to stop you from moving to your destiny and getting that Ten of Pentacles. Oh, this person's going to try to come to your house. They could try to tell you that they will marry you. Oh, no. It's just this person, this narcissist, whoever the hell they are. There's somebody who gaslights. Like, they play little bullshit mind games. Everything's always your fault. Shit like that. They want you to do one thing, and then you go do it, and then they get pissed, and they flip it around on you. This person's watching your ass. Like, they're watching your home. Yeah, and guess what else they're watching? They're watching your ass go straight to victory and success here. You're also dealing with somebody who's very prideful and egotistical. Leo energy. Yeah, they think they're being quiet. Like, they think you don't know they're out here lurking, watching you. <laughs> you know they're watching you. The Virgo energy. The damn Virgo. Yeah, you also don't realize it, but you're still focusing on your past person, but God is fixing to give you a brand new love. You may not want to even hear it. Like, you have your headphones on. You're like, I'm not beat to hear this bullshit. <laughs> But I see you pulled your energy back and ghosted somebody. Somebody still wants to come back and work with you, though. And this is also like spirit wanting to work with you to help you to be successful. So, like I said, make sure you're co-creating with God and your ancestors. Oh, Lord, this person's obsessed with you. So, you got somebody here that you ghosted or you went quiet on. So, they're like watching your house and shit. And they're still very tied to you, like, sexually. There's, like, an obsession here. So this person could feel tied to you energetically. This person watches you work, too, or something. It's kind of creepy. It's making me want to, like, look out the window. Oh, <laughs> like, because it's like, I was watching some other tarot card reading, and the chick was like, Sagittarius, you work from home. And you, you're always sitting by a window. This person could be watching you through the window. And I'm like, what? Like, so I need to start shutting my window. But it's like, this isn't even happening in my life. So this is y'all's life. But I still get paranoid for y'all. <laughs> so you guys are like the Jerry Springer of the Zodiac. I'm playing. I'm just joking. Not really. I mean, some of y'all are. <laughs> some of y'all are really up to some that stuff. Um, but I see somebody here who's very obsessed with you. Um... You know what? If you're like into spirituality, like if you're a tarot card reader or you do Ricky, however you say that, or whatever it is you do, this person thinks you're a devil. Like this person could think the work that you do, um, they see you're very successful at work, but they could also like be trying to tell people what you do for work is evil or something. Cause it's like, here you are working and then the devil's in between. So this person could think that about you. Oh, Lord. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you have two people coming towards you this week. Somebody who gaslit you, who's going to, who could be narcissistic. They're going to come in and try to offer you love. And then there's this King of Pentacles coming in who is like a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. They see that you are a very hard worker. They could have some type of addictions or something they need to get rid of with that devil energy. Uh, but they're interested in coming to offer you something like they want long term with you. So if you know a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, this is somebody who wants to stick around long term. Okay. They're not coming in as the Knight of Cups or the Knight of Wands. Like they'll they'll actually stick with you through life. You could have known this person for a very long time. Okay. And then we have the Five of Swords. I don't feel like this is the King of Pentacles energy. I feel like this is the person, the narcissist who's in the background is jealous of this person wants to defeat this person they could be like working on ways to try to defeat this person um 
Because I don't, and I feel like the King of Pentacles knows, they know each other, these two people. So the person from your past knows this individual, but this person's aware of this person and they're looking at each other. They're looking at each other. And this King of Pentacles is trying to tell this person, I'm coming to be here for a long time. Like, I'm here for the long game. I'm not here for a short time. I'm here for the long run. Okay? So <clears throat> this person's aware of this individual, though. They're aware that somebody's jealous of them or wants to defeat them. Yeah, look, I told you this King of Pentacles is here for a long time. Now, this is another thing that could be going on. Now, if this isn't two different people, this could be that same person who's narcissistic, who likes to gaslight you and shit, could be, like, if they know that you want marriage and stability, they could try to come back and offer you that. But they're playing mind games once again. So be aware of that. Yeah. This could be a past person. This is somebody you might have known for at least seven years or more. This person does have a lot of, like, love for you. I feel like... Yeah, there's somebody here who, one of these people, whether it's, I feel like it's the King of Pentacles, they can have, like, a lot of, a lot of options in love. Like, this person or these people could have, like, a lot of options in love, but, like, you're the one that they want. Yeah, you're putting an end to the past. Like, you're putting an end to the past situation. And then moving on. Somebody does not want to let you move on, though. You still have this, like, drama, bullshit energy around you, Sagittarius. Like, people, you know, fighting in competition. Everybody's bitchy, pissy. There's somebody... And there's somebody who's pissed because you're moving on. I feel like you made the choice because... We have the Seven of Cups reverse. So I feel like you made the choice to commit to somebody or you're going to. And your past person or whoever is like pissed that you're making the choice to move on. So they want to like fight with you. Like Leo, Aquarius, Cancerian energy. Like the fact that you're leaving them. They don't want you to. Like where the fuck are you going, bitch? You're not going anywhere. Like, somebody's trying to stop you. Yeah, like, you're in this chariot, and you're moving on. You're like, good day, goodbye, fuck off. And then you get in your chariot, and you go on. I just feel like you are not putting up with anybody who is not going to give you a wedding ring. Like, why would you? Why would you? You're too good for that. You're standing in your power on that queen of wands. You're, it's like you're on that throne with that little wand and that black cap. So you're like spiritually protected with the black cat and then you have that wand. I feel like you're just like ready to burn everything down if you have to. Like if these people want to start shit, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, you are moving on to your ten of cups. Somebody is holding on to your ass though. Like somebody views you as their ten of cups and they do not want to let go of you. Like somebody is very possessive over you here. Like they feel like you belong to them. That's why they're so angry. Yeah, they feel like Sagittarius belongs to them. Sagittarius belongs to them. Like, they are they feel like you're meant to be with them. So, I don't know. Like, if it, does, it looks like you got a lot of energies around you. You know, it could even be family who's fighting and shit like that. Yeah. You want new love. You know, it's like... You want to go find your Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Um, I, I see you guys getting new love here. Yeah, I see you being very happy here. Like I said, you don't realize it, but somebody's coming in to offer you new love. There is somebody here who's very attached to you that wants to offer you something. You're in this Queen of Swords energy. <laughs> uh, you're very guarded. Guarded. 
And you know who you're guarded against? The fuck boy, the fuck girl, whoever is trying to play you. Like this person could try to come back and, and offer you love and say, let's just be friends and whoop de whoop woo. And you're like, no, I done told you. If you don't want to give me the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, which is long-term stability, marriage, build together, create together, then I don't want to hear you. That's what you're telling these people. You don't want to be with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is there for a good time, not a long time. You don't want that. You want the King of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles, which is somebody who will come in for the long game. They're not there to play games. They're not there for just sex. Yeah. This person, this, this fire energy, they're going to try to come and offer you friendship and say, let's be friends. And that's what narcissists do. Okay. I watched a video on it. <laughs> it's like they want the reason that narcissists want to stay friends with you not because they want to be with you it's because they want to have power and access to your life they still want to have power over you that's why you'll notice a true narcissist and i didn't know this but it all makes sense now uh a true narcissist they're friends with every single one of their exes every single one of them you know why because they want to stay tied to that person so they can have control over that person. So they can still use them and benefit from them. They'll try to stay friends with benefits or whatever. So And then they use those exes also against the new supply and put you in competition with them. So if you meet somebody and they, especially now, <clears throat> let me clear this up. If they're friends with their exes, but they introduce the ex to you so that the ex knows that you and that person are together and that's fine. Because sometimes people have kids together and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with staying friends with somebody. But if they keep, they don't introduce you to the ex, but they're still trying to keep the ex in the background. They're using that person to try to make you jealous and to mind fuck you and keep you like in a triangulation or some shit. I guess that's what narcissists do. I've been learning about this because a lot of the clients I have have dealt with this. So me as somebody who's a reader, I wanted to learn more about it so I can help others um, figure this out. Okay, so you could be dealing with somebody who wants to stay friends, but you know in your heart that's not right. Like, why do you want to stay friends with me when we when like if you were in a relationship with them, I didn't even treat you right in the relationship. So Somebody tried to play is what I'm saying. Yeah. And you're like, no, you're going to queen of swords them. You're going to say, no, thanks. Have a good day. I'm going off to the new. I'm going into a new timeline. You can't come with me if you're not going to commit. That's what you're going to tell this person. And, <laughs> and spirit saying that's the truth. You're going to communicate to this person and tell them, I am not going to be here for your sexual fantasies or whatever shit you got going on and you don't want to marry me look what's down here this king of wands with the ace of pentacles the ace of wands and the eight of swords in reverse like you know that this person whoever they are coming um liked to keep you mind fucked you're no longer mind fucked by them and you're not going to accept their offers unless they're offering you a commitment and it don't look like they're trying to offer you a commitment because it's in the reverse. It's like they just want to stay friend. Yeah, look, this just came out. <laughs> See, you're saying, no, thanks. I'm not going to be friends with you. If you don't want to commit, then I don't, I don't need you around. Yeah, and you close out the cycle. You're going to close out the cycle with them and then no longer hold on to them. Like you're going to let them go. Yeah. See, look, you're telling them, if you don't want marriage, then I don't want to be around. Now, be careful with this person because it, it almost, they, they might almost tell you what you want to hear. Like, they might tell you, like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and commit to you then. I don't know. But it's like this person doesn't want you to end things with them. Yeah, and I also feel like this person could have been, like, juggling you. Like, they like to keep your emotions all over the damn place. Somebody is choosing you here, though. 
Yeah, see, somebody liked to keep you emotional. Like, they could have also been the type that, like, anytime any little thing went wrong, they could have liked to break up with you and then try to make up with you, something like that. It was like something about emotions or fear here. Like they could have like like kept you in a loop of fear that they were going to leave you. Yeah, see this person likes to mind fuck you. Whoever this is, they watch you online too. They think that you don't know that they're watching you, but you do. Yeah, it's the king of wands. I'm telling you, this person is very passionate about you. Like they want sex with you, like, but that it's like they don't want to marry you. So you're not going for that. Like, you're just not. This person could have also been using passion to get to you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This person's also being quiet on purpose to try to mind fuck you too, by the way, if they're being quiet. <clears throat> they still feel like there's hope here in this situation. And they are going to apologize. This person will apologize to you. Yeah, but it's like they see you as independent, um, good looking, somebody who's abundant. Look at that. And then we have the Emperor and the Four of Swords. This person may actually try to take charge of the situation and get and gain control over it. <clears throat> they could have blocked you. This person could have blocked you. They feel bad about that. Like if they blocked you. They also want to block you from giving to others. This person's also very stubborn as hell, whoever they are. Yeah, they want to block you from people from your past to friends, shit like that. So you're dealing with somebody who's very stubborn that they do want to return I see you walking away this person could be very indecisive like they don't know whether they want to stay or go but they're like very guarded but they miss that loving kind nature that you had so they're like manifesting something here yeah there's a tower they're realizing that they love you, too. Like, you made them happy. I see things balancing out in your favor. This person wants to come back, though. There's, like, a coming back. They want to right their wrongs. They want to reunite with you. They know you're the empress here. So this person does know that you are, like, the empress. Um, but they're very indecisive and have an anxiety and regret about having to contact you or reunite with you. Like, they're worried about this. But they are in regret and despair. They could be having anxiety over this. They're like worried. They're like worried about having to message you. But you got a couple people here coming. Uh, so tell me more real quick, Spirit, before I go. What's this King of Pentacles? Because uh, I see somebody wanting to come commit to you that you commit to. The King and Queen of Pentacles. Who is this Spirit? <clears throat> what do you want them to know about this King of Pentacles energy? What's their true intentions, feelings towards Sagittarius? This person could be moving. You're very burdened right now. Yeah, they want to move to new love. So, ooh, yeah. They want this King of Wands out of the picture, too, by the way. If you were with the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles knew it, it like, so say if you had a new love with this person. They were burdened by that and wanted that picture person out of the picture. Yeah, and they feel like that's karmic justice. There's also, like, if there was somebody else or something, they're about to, like, reject that person. Because they're making the choice to choose you. If they were juggling you, they, they see you as a star. This person also could be going through some like some type of uh, regret, but they're trying to make a choice. They know you have like a lot of options. Yeah, this person could be going through some heartbreak right now. Like they know that who whatever choice they make, they're gonna have to hurt somebody. They feel like you're a very hard worker. 
There's also like some type, something that they're involved with outside of you that they feel like is a lot of work and they want to block that. They feel like somebody's trying to block their um, wish fulfillment. And so they're having a lot of worry, stress. Yeah, because they want to become single. We have 999. So this person is going to end something with somebody else. But they're trying to figure out how to go about doing it. And they're also worried about you having um, a lot of options. Yeah, they have a fear. <laughs> so this person has a lot of fear about you being able to pick other people. You being able to commit to somebody else. Yeah, and they, they want to commit to you to hold on to you. Okay, so whoever this person is, they actually do want to commit to you. But they're like really in their feelings about you. Like in, in their head. But they do have love for you. Mm -hmm. This person wants to return. I want to take a leap of faith towards you. Yeah, this person could have been holding back. They no longer want to hold back. Like they want to move forward with you. Move to their destiny. Um, and if they have somebody else attached to them, they're getting rid of that person. So they're, I feel like they're already with somebody, but they're leaving that person. Yeah. Cause they want to come offer you a commitment. Yeah. This person is going to try to come make you an offer. Um, they feel stuck wherever they're at right now, but they, they're going to, they want to get out of that. Yeah, they don't want to play any games either. So they're not here to bullshit you like the other person was just there for sex, there for a good time. This person's in a nine of pentacles. They're there for the long game. They're there for the long game. They'll stick they'll stick by you till death. Yeah. This person <clears throat> knows there's like a connection here with you and them. Yeah, and they want you to move away from anybody who's lying and deceiving you. So they knew, whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, they knew that there was a fire energy in your life that was trying to play you. They could have even helped you get out of this situation because they knew that there was somebody in your life who was deceiving you um, and they were trying to play you and they, want, they wanted you to move away from that energy. Yeah, they knew that some lover you were with was trying to play you. Um, they also feel like this other lover, um, was trying to use you for finances. Like they feel like they were trying to get shit out of you and they was ready to fight this person to get them away from you. Yeah. This person, um, I feel like they're about to end something or they, you ended something. They know that you ended something with a fire energy and that you're healing. So this person sees you as somebody who's healing, but this person also sees you as their um, life partner, somebody that they would marry. Yeah, this, this person, um, there's like a third party or some other situation that they want to close out a cycle with. Yeah, it could be a queen of swords. It's somebody who's very cold. Somebody they no longer have like love and emotions for. Yeah, anybody that's connected to their past, they want to get rid of them. Yeah, they're about to end some type of connection here. They're going to end some type of connection and then they're going to tell you about this. Yeah. They could also be moving away from their family. Like, they're this whoever this King of Pentacles is, they're, like, willing to end things with whoever they're with and even, like, family members. Like, if they have to move away from family members to come to be with you, they'll do it. This person's following, like, spirit. They're listening to their intuition about this. Like, their intuition's telling, telling them to do this. Yeah, they're getting, like, truth and clarity from spirit here on when to do this and how to do this. Um, but you are like, they're getting messages from God. Yeah. This person is coming to you to tell you all this. Um, they're also like very attracted to you. This King of Pentacles is, yeah, they love you. So their happiness and their love is with you. Not, and they see a future with you. So this King of Pentacles, when they look to their future, they see family with you, kids with you. 
uh, abundance with you. You guys may even get together and have a child. Like, maybe the both of you don't have kids. I don't know. But you, if you get with this person, you will have a kid. <clears throat> so, this person does see a family with you. It could be a Virgo. Wow. This person, <laughs> whoever they are, they view you as the Empress. Like, they actually have love for you. They see you as very successful, too. Um, they watch you, though. This person knows you're the Empress. So they know that, like, you're somebody that they would want to marry. But if there's somebody around you... There's somebody around you who's watching... Trying to figure out how I should how I should show these front or back. Okay, yeah, it's like this. Okay, so this King of Pentacles wants you this earth energy. They actually want to marry you. I feel like they've felt this way for years. Um, you're manifesting. But somebody's watching you manifest this, they're pissed. Like they're pissed because you walked away from them. So somebody's like mad that you walked away from them and then you're walking straight to your emperor. So you and this other energy are a match, uh, but there's this like narcissistic energy here who's very guarded, very pissed off. You had an ending with them and they feel like this king of pentacles is the devil and they want to get rid of them. Like they want to defeat them. So <laughs> it's like, there's going to be a lot of, there could be a lot of like jealousy and envy if you end up with this earth sign. And I don't even, this is just showing what the earth, what this king of pentacles wants with you. This doesn't even mean that's what you want. Just because I'm telling you what they're thinking, that doesn't mean that's what you actually want. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like you wanted the king of wands, some type of a fire energy. I feel like that's who you were bonded with. That's who you wanted to marry, have kids with, and, and build a life with. But they were playing mind games. They treated you like you were nobody. They did not view you as the empress. They could have even viewed you as the knight of wands, just somebody that they wanted to have sexual relations with and then leave. They did not want to build with you. So you left them. So whoever the person is that you left... They need to understand that you only left because you felt like you had to, because you, you realize that life is short. And if they're not going to give you what you're looking for, you have to leave. You cannot waste your precious life source energy on people whose um, morals and values do not line up with yours. So you left and now this person's pissed. Well, they should be pissed at themselves because they did it to you. They did it to themselves. And so if they do have to watch you move on with somebody that wants to marry you, that's their own damn fault. They should have treated you better. Okay. <laughs> so there, I hope if a cross watcher is watching, you get what's coming to you. That's your damn stupid ass fault for doing Sagittarius dirty. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up now. So we have one, three, three, because in numerology, there's no 12. I break that down to a three. So one, three, three, two, one, seven, that'd be somebody's birthday too. And then here's some signs you could be dealing with. There is no extended to this. I have an extended I posted yesterday that was two hours. And let me tell you that there was a lot of information in that. <laughs> like it showed multiple people who were going to be getting karma this year for uh, doing you dirty. So we have Scorpio, Sag, Virgo, Libra. Uh, Sag, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo. A lot of y'all have a Libra that's about to come back in your life, uh, by the way. We have Aries, Virgo, Leo, Cancer. Okay, a lot of freaking Virgo energy here. The damn Virgo is struck. <laughs> so we'll see you guys later.